Psalm 31 To the chief musician, a psalm of David. In you, O Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bow down your ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be you my strong rock for an house of defense to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net that they have laid privily for me. For you are my strength. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. I have hated them that regard lying vanities, but I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have considered my trouble. You have known my soul in adversities and have not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a large room. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. Mine eye is consumed with grief, yes, my soul and my belly, for my life is spent with grief and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of mine iniquity and my bones are consumed. I was a reproach among all mine enemies, but especially among my neighbors, and a fear to mine acquaintance. They that did see me without fled from me. I am forgotten as a dead man out of mind. I am like a broken vessel, for I have heard the slander of many. Fear was on every side, while they took counsel together against me. They devised to take away my life. But I trusted in you, O Lord. I said, You are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of mine enemies and from them that persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant. Save me for your mercy's sake. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord. For I have called upon you. Let the wicked be ashamed, and let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Oh, how great is your goodness, which you have laid up for them that fear you, which you have wrought for them that trust in you before the sons of men. You shall hide them in the secret of your presence from the pride of man. You shall keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has showed me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from before your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my supplications when I cried unto you. O love the Lord, all you his saints, for the Lord preserves the faithful and plentifully rewards the proud doer. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all you that hope in the Lord.